بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا بحضراتكم في first case of the week on our for the passion channel this case is titled details matter a case referred to my center for for this can because of previous early postnatal this and the intrauterineness of previous four siblings due to congenital fetal anomalies with consanguinity the case had early IUGR with the most retarded uh, femur, uh, is femur length at uh, minus 4.3 standard deviation and uh, the following soft markers and anomalies were noted first uh, there was a significantly thickened nuchal fold at 11 mm uh, in thickness and there was mild prefrontal edema also the cavum septum pilostatum was uh, small with increased length to width ratio uh, on checking the corpus callosum, it, it was uh, of normal length and width. Uh, there was an inlet VSD with uh, a small inlet VSD uh, at four chamber view of the heart. Also, there was a sandal gap deformity with widened space between uh, the big toe and the uh, index toe. There was also macroglossia with persistently protruding tongue beyond the alveolar ridge. Here is again. And they were crinodactly with uh, persist uh, persistently uh, uh, deviated uh, little uh, finger towards the radial side uh, with a smaller uh, middle phalanx than distal phalanx. Here again, the crinodactly. Also noted short fetal neck and bilateral mild renal pelvic tasia with hyperecogenic kidneys and uh, also subjectively noted a, sh a short thumb the 4D revealed uh, a facial phenotype suggestive of trisomy 21 with upward slanting palpebral fissure and the persistently protruding tongue again the upward slanting palpebral fissure and the phenotype rather uh, suggestive of trisomy 21 so the case shows early IOGR short femur at minus 4.3 standard deviation and short thumb Thickened nuchal fold, prefrontal edema, bilateral renal pelvic tasia, small cavum septum, pilosidum, macroglossia, and the facial phenotype highly suggested for trisomy 21 with upward slanting palpebral fissure. The calculation of uh, risk, second trimester risk for trisomy 21 was uh, 1 in 7.2. This is uh, sure a high risk that warrants further invasive testing. So a karyotype was advised and the incidence of uh, trisomy 21 is very high one uh, in 500 fetuses at 20 weeks of gestation and the frequency of trisomy 21 in the population is one in 650 to 1000 uh, live births etiology free trisomy of chromosome 21 uh, is 95 percent of cases and trisomy from Robertsonian translocations or mosaicism is five percent the outcome uh, is mental and physical uh, uh, developmental delays of variable degrees and overall survival reaches 50 to 60 years and depends on the associated anomalies. The recurrence risk is 1% empiric risk as for all autosomal trisomies and 25% in case of parental Robertsonian translocations. Here we will stress on second trimester markers for trisomy 21. They are uh, either major anomalies such as atrioventricular septal defect, ventricular septal defect, specially outlet and inlet, GI atresis and exomphalus. Detection of any of these anomalies warrant further karyotyping. The second trimester, trimester soft markers for trisomy 21 are either biometric or morphologic. The biometric are short femur and the humerus, observed and expected femur length ratio, observed, observed and expected humerus length ratio, and pilectasis, wide iliac uh, bone wings, and mild ventricular megaly. Morphologic, uh, nuchal edema or fold, nasal bone hypoplasia, aberrant right subclavian artery, intracardiac focus, hypoplasia second phalanx, hyperechogenic ileus, sandal gap, macroglossia, and small ears. With the uh, market, the markers are the most sensitive. The recurrence risk is empirically estimated at 1%, and however, if it is a syndrome is due to a parental balanced translocation, then the recurrence risk reaches 25% since it becomes an autosomal recessive condition. Uh, the take-home message in uh, this case is the multiplicity of findings will strengthen your diagnosis and the karyotype will suffice to confirm final diagnosis in this case. For the facial phenotype is additive for the diagnosis. Don't wait for this of multiple siblings to start to do 4D and genetic counseling. First trimester combined test, second trimester detailed anomaly scan or better 4D scan should be offered for every pregnant woman. They are not luxury. 
they should be done by an adequately experienced operators. He will affect decision making in obstetric and postnatal management of fetus. Even in case of opted continuation of pregnancy, the parents are better to be counseled and psychologically prepared to what is next rather than being surprised. Shukran Gazilan, Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kind disregards and see you soon, Dr. Amr Farooq.